English 10, Odyssey Class Notes. Before viewing this presentation, please view the video link placed in the comments below. Book 3 begins. The sun leapt out of the lovely bay, high into the brazen sky, to give light to the deathless gods and to mortal men all over the fruitful earth. And they came to Pylos, the stately city of Neleus. The people were on the shore, sacrificing jet-black bulls to the blue-crested god who shakes the earth. There were nine messes, five hundred sitting in each mess, and nine bulls were laid out before each. They had already distributed the tribes, and they were burning the thigh pieces for the god when the ship came sailing in. The crew brailed up the sail, and trusted, and moored ship, and went ashore. Telemachus came ashore, too. In your composition notes, please write down the following things. Title this section, Book 3. Main idea number one. Telemachus arrives in Pylos. Main idea number two. They arrive during the feast to Poseidon. Beneath these two main ideas, rewrite the words in the first two sentences that show alliteration and label them as such. You should also note the instances of imagery as the author tries to paint pictures of the scene for you. The syntax within the selection is cumulative as it adds more and more detail. Convoluted syntax that delays the main idea of the sentence is found in the line, they had already distributed the tripes and they were burning the thigh pieces for the god, when the ship came sailing in. As they approach the party, Athena, disguised as mentor, encourages Telemachus to break his silence and ask for news concerning his father. But Telemachus is unsure of what words to use and how to approach Nestor, to which Athena replies, Some things you will think of for yourself, Telemachus. Some things God will put into your mind. Not without the blessing of heaven were you born and bred, I think. They were greeted by Nestor and his sons. His son, Pisistratus, is roughly the same age as Telemachus. He informs Athena and Telemachus that they have arrived during the feast to Poseidon, and he encourages them to offer up a prayer. As Athena offers her prayer, she was doing her part to fulfill it. After praying, they were offered meat and wine, which they ate freely. In your composition notes, continuing book three, you simply need to add the main idea that they were greeted by Nestor and his sons. During their visit, Nestor relates to Telemachus the journey of leaving Troy after their long battle there. Once the battle was over, it lasted nine years, Nestor, Odysseus, Diomedes, and Menelaus left Troy on separate ships. While they were all following one another, Odysseus decided to turn back to perform sacrifices with the warrior Agamemnon, who remained in Troy while the others continued home. During their conversation, Nestor remarks about Agamemnon's fate. Once he returned home, he found his wife had been seduced by another man, Agathus, who ended up murdering Agamemnon. It also mentioned how years later Agamemnon's son Orestes took it upon himself to avenge his father's death by killing Agathus. Telemachus replies to Nestor regarding the vengeance. He did inde indeed take his vengeance, and his fame shall be carried down in the world for many generations to come. How I wish that the gods would invest me with power as great as his to take vengeance on the men who woo my mother for their outrageous violence, for the intolerable insults of their scheming brains. In your composition notes, add these explanations. Number one. Nestor explained to Telemachus that half the ship sailed home from the Trojan War with him, and they all arrived safely. Half the ship sailed back to be with Agamemnon, including Odysseus. These men were not considered sensible or fair-minded. They either met untimely deaths at home or had significant trouble at sea. Number two, Telemachus confides in Nestor that he wishes he could take vengeance on the suitors, much as Agamemnon's son Orestes did. 
You'll recall from reading Book 2, Telemachus has left home to seek answers from two men. Athena required him to go first to Nestor. This is where he currently is hearing stories. And second, he was to travel to Menelaus, the king of Sparta. At this point in Book 3, Nestor is informing Telemachus that Menelaus' ships had been scattered at sea for eight years. It was not until Orestes had killed his mother and her lover that Menelaus returned home. Nestor tells Telemachus to go visit the Spartan king Menelaus since he might have more up-to-date information regarding Odysseus since he as well was stranded at sea for eight years. Telemachus tries to leave upon hearing this, but Nestor refuses to let his guest leave so hastily, and he invites him to dinner and to spend the night. Before she leaves, Athena instructs Nestor on how to care for Telemachus, telling him to feed him, clothe him, and provide him the necessary means to reach Sparta. She is still disguised as the old man mentor. She then transforms into a sea osprey, or vulture, and flies away. The men realize they have been in the presence of the gods, and offer up prayers which she hears, and later sacrifices. The next morning after the sacrifices to Athena were made, Nestor's sons prepared chariots and horses for Telemachus and Pisistratus leaves with Telemachus to accompany him on his two-day journey to Sparta. In your composition notebooks, you should make a final entry that says that Nestor has his sons prepare chariots and horses, and they will leave together on a two-day land journey to Sparta, where they will visit Menelaus.